Transition Tuesday. I'm Jane. This is Joe. Continuing with our series on last year of school, we are getting ready for Joe's last IEP meeting. So for those of you who aren't in the disability world, an IEP is an individual education plan that every special, uh, every student who receives special education services gets and it drives all of their services for school to help support them and help them meet their educational goals. So part of the IEP team is Joe who when you turn 18, you assume, it's called the, uh, the transfer of rights, you assume the role of, of adult. So Joe is the participant in his IEP team. The, the rights that are given to parents for IEP team members now transfer to Joe. And Joe um, allows me to participate in his IEP meetings as his mom, but also as his communication partner. So some of Joe's potential goals are for his transition plan, I should say, let me back up. Every IEP for somebody over age 16 includes a transition plan and Joe's potential goals are communication um, we're working on consistency and response time and then the other thing is active participation in goal setting and in community activities so um, I apologize I have a little bit of a change of season cold going on here so my voice is a little scratchy today. So those are, those are potential goals which we will discuss during Joe's IEP meeting. You know, I'm typically not nervous about IEP meetings, but I'm a little nervous about this one because it's Joe's last IEP meeting. When Joe turned 21 in August, it meant that this year is his last year of school, thus the name of this season. So this IEP is really important because it's going to set the tone and the pace for all the skills he's going to be working on this last year of school. So transition plans um, in an IEP can include community participation, college, vocational training. Um, so that would be like a tech school. Integrated employment, um, community uh, continuing and adult ed adult services and independent living which i apologize i spelt independent uh, wrong so we have checked off three items on this transition planning list one is community participation the other uh -huh. is adult services and the third mm -hmm. is independent living those are the ones that applies specifically to Joe. Joe's current IEP, <clears throat> Joe will participate in meetings, which is important because Joe's overarching transition goal is to work in the field of disability advocacy. So going to meetings is a really big part of advocacy because you need to know what other people in the disability movement are doing. You need to connect and network 
People need to get to know Joe and Joe needs to get to know them as part of that disability advocacy work. Joe will continue working with his mom on Transition Tuesdays with Jane and Joe videos. That's advocacy right now. This is advocacy. Go us. Some more things in Joe's current IEP transition plan are after graduation, the student will uh, work part time with support in the area of advocacy training. Now we have been doing that um, and I'm gonna break it down a little bit for you. In the uh, category of community participation, Joe joins Community Strong, which is an online advocacy meeting every Monday uh, with a Georgia advocacy group called Uniting for Change. <coughs> um, <coughs> sorry. Joe joins Community Strong Zooms most weeks. Joe, do you like being part of Community Strong? Touch my hand or tell me with your voice. Do you like attending your Community Strong meetings? Yes? Yes, he does. In the category of adult services, Joe has direct support professional services through his comp waiver. So if you want to know more about a comp waiver, we did a whole video on that under the playlist Turning 18. It's now in comp waiver episode 41 and I'll post it in the description. Um, the comp waiver in Georgia provides direct support services for people with disabilities. Um, it has a whole range of services attached to it and it fills the gap where Medicaid, medical coverage, and SSI benefits for um, utilities, rent, and um, you know, household expenses um, it fills the gap of the, you know, that those things, those resources don't fill. And then under independent living, Joe's ISP goals help us identify, track, and evaluate. So an ISP is, is the IEP of a comp waiver. ISP stands for Individual Support Plan. So we have an ISP meeting every year to determine what those community access goals will be, what Joe's daily living support goals will be. So, you know, we've been working on Joe's transition from being a student to being an adult in the real world for years. It doesn't just happen overnight. So don't expect your plan to just happen overnight. It takes time and often it takes adjustment. We've adjusted Joe's plan quite a bit. Originally, Joe was going to test products and we never could make that work. So we had to regroup and redo his transition plan. And while we were doing that, we discovered that Joe really likes to go to community strong meetings and to connect with other disability advocates. He's made some friends, we've made some connections, we've gotten involved in a statewide advocacy project, we're doing these videos for you. So things change over time and that's okay. Um, so, Wish us luck, last IEP meeting, and we will see you next time.